7 o'clock at night on Thursday, November the 18th, 2021. It's starting the new big build project. This side of the studio that I don't show often because it's such an embarrassing mess has basically been where I've been putting all of those uh, collectible retro video games and out-of-print DVDs and VHSs and all the other stuff that I've been finding on my thrift store hopping excursions throughout all of 2021 and some of 2020 as well. And so it has accumulated and that, that has got to be fixed. This is starting to make my mental process boggled. I just, to have your living area look like this needs a redesign. It needs to be all organized. So my goal is going to be uh, to redo the shelves. These are some that were given to me right here. I'm probably going to knock them apart and redo them. Uh, first project is going to be getting that nice toaster oven up off the ground and put into the kitchen where it can be used. I've actually got a place I'm planning on putting that and uh, and then the rest of it all. Oh my goodness, so messy. And even the consoles have spilled over onto the couch. We've got the, the Wii U and the original Xbox just sitting there. There's two PlayStation 2s, uh, the fat ones there. Uh, a GameCube there and somehow another one up there. Uh, that's all of what you can just see right there. This whole closet right here is full of them. Look at this. Uh, more cartridges, consoles. These two boxes are full of consoles right here. I really want to get my closet cleaned out. All this stuff cleaned out and organized so I can actually put my hang-up clothes into the closet where they're supposed to go. It's a little bit after 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday, November the 23rd now, 2021. And I have pulled apart all the pallets that were stacked over here and then reorganized and taken stock of all of the scrap wood that I have accumulated. And I believe that I will not have to buy any new build materials for this project, I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, I'm getting the tools out now. Let's start cutting some wood. Okay, Dasha, what have you got there? What is that? What have you got in your mouth? Is that a mole? Is that a mole or is that a field mouse? And did you did you kill that yourself or did you find it frozen to death? It did get below freezing last night. It is a... Alright, well he has been fixed. And he's pretty much a house cat, but... I guess he just can't take the wild out of the cat. It's about 4 o'clock on Wednesday, the November the 24th now, and I have an oven. I got it built. So here it is. I've got that miniature freezer-refrigerator combination from Sam's. It's got lots of room on the top, so I added to the top of it and added this extra shelf. It was just wide enough to fit this wonderful toaster oven. And I love toaster ovens because like for a single person like me, it's basically all you need oven-wise. Um, and you, you're not using up a lot of energy to heat up an entire oven, honestly. I mean, look at all that you can do with this. I can fit an entire miniature roaster pan in there. Uh, I can put an entire frying pan in there and still close the lid. Just the right size for that. So cornbread, whatever. And even these cookie sheets that I found at the flea market. Just the right size. So I can cook cookies, bake cookies in there so yeah oven wise there we go and i i believe that i've got this built so that the heat from the toaster oven is not going to affect the freezer uh you've got the space from the rubber stoppers and then two layers of wood and plenty of an air gap here pretty sure it's going to be okay uh, as well as on the sides and then room on the top and i put this sh extra shelf up here because uh i could you know put canned goods and stuff up there too it adds a little extra storage space. Oh, I also added this little coaster platform at the bottom. Um, yeah, the, the refrigerator came with two wheels on the back, but that wasn't enough for me. I like to be able to roll things a little easier, so I made this whole platform with four coasters on it. Be able to roll it out easy if anything ever goes up underneath there.
it's what's for breakfast. December 1st now, about 2.30 in the afternoon, and uh, here's the progress. Somebody had given me this entertainment center. It was used as a display at the flea market, but I knocked it apart and got it sized to fit the different screens, and uh, it's already stained. I put a cup, uh, some coasters on there. Also, oh, he's coming in. Come on in. I know. Uh, that shelf that you saw leaning in a corner over there, I completely knocked that apart and redid it and added this shelf to it. And then another f two feet on the top of it and more along the side. So now it is actually a double-ended shelf. So it's got shelves on both sides. And it is mobile. It also is on coasters. Hi. I love coasters. Oh, well, hello again. Okay. All right. Uh, Dashiell, how did you, how did you manage to get yourself all the way up there? Are you stuck? Uh, yeah, he's... Why are you the way that you are? Well, it's been about 30 minutes now. Almost 40 minutes, really. And he is still up there, so... We are going to employ the help of this little ladder here. Get up on the roof and try to get out there to him. Come on. Come on. Oh, let go of the tree. Stop panicking and let go of the tree already. Okay, see, look, I got you. I got you. I'm going to put you down now and I do not expect you to go right back up that tree. I understand? You know better now, don't you? Yeah, don't even look back at me. Okay. Well, it's 11 o'clock the next morning now, and I have just finished rebuilding this last shelf. This is the last one of all the ones that were sitting over there waiting to rebuild the ones that were just given to me. Uh, so what I did was I shortened it up a little bit, reinforced the size with some scrap wood, and then added a thin piece of this plywood veneer stuff to the back. All of this was just kind of hanging around. The uh, only thing that I paid for was the wood screws and some of you are going to be looking at these shelves going man these things are ugly they're splotchy they're all discolored um, but please remember guys that I am living in basically a shed I am single and I'm all about uh, low cost of living DIY and repurposing and I just don't care about the way things look I care more about do they serve their purpose now does this hold media up and not let it hit the ground yes it does so it serves its purpose. Now, at some point, if I get to where I actually care about this kind of stuff and I've got the time, I might unstack all the media off of it and repaint the shelves. But at this point, it's more just about getting this big old mess taken care of and organized. All right, why am I rambling about this? In that box. Well, it is now ten thirty in the morning on Tuesday, December the seventh. 2021 and the last video I made good headway in getting this area cleaned up and organized but after working on it for just a little while it became very apparent that it is woefully inadequate shelf space to truly declutter everything so I went out to the uh, scrap pile and found and built yesterday all of yesterday I took yesterday off work it was cold windy and rainy anyway so whatever um, and I built these two shelves out of old deck planks. Believe it or not, 
about a year ago, my pastor was tearing an old deck off the back of his house, and uh, I went over there with a little trailer and, and got all the wood, and that's what this is here. So, once again, free, uh, aside from the price of the wood screws. Not real pretty, but there you go, and this backing is actually uh, pieces of old pallet wood that I have screwed together. So they are four foot wide, and they come up to the corner of the ceiling and the wall. So, yeah. I think maybe I'll be able to tackle everything. All the stuff in here and whatnot. Well, I've only got about five hours before i got to be heading off to work. Uh, and realistically, this job is going to require a few trips to the dump and to Goodwill as well. Uh, so... Let's get started. Uh, keeping me company today is going to be my favorite candy. Uh, right now, currently, my favorite candy. That's a question I seem to get a lot when people meet me at my booth. Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite candy? This is it right here. It's called uh, Big Chewy Nerds. It's not the Nerd Clusters, although those are good, but these, are, to me, are just a little bit better. It's a hard shell with a gummy inside. Um, so coming up, a uh, close second is going to be the Sherbet Flavored Gummy Bears by Aldenese. Uh, there you go. All right, let's get started. Well, it's a cold night, isn't it? It's just stretched out right there in front of the heater. <laughs> it's 1120 a.m. on Friday now, December the 10th, 2021. I think I started this, this video, this whole process on the 17th of last month. So what does that make this? Uh, three weeks long that it, it, it took me to get the studio to where I'm finally happy with it. My mind just says, ah, you know, to have your living area and your work area nice and cleaned off, swept up, even the dishes washed, organized. It just, I don't know about you guys, but it just sets my mind at ease. It just... Uh, so now, now I can focus a little more on all the other stuff that's starting to pile up on me. All right, so let's go ahead and give you guys a quick little after pan around. We'll do a little before now. This is what it was before. Now, these two four-foot shelves I decided would be just for DVDs, except for this top shelf here, which is the Windows 95, 98 computer games, some of the big box PC games there, uh, right next to my Windows 95, 98 laptop that I found. So, uh, and this shelf right here I decided was going to be just for video games. I put the ones in here that I had inside already. I've got a lot more in storage in my little camper outside. I'm going to fill up that side as well. And um, the console tower right here, there's a lot of them on there. They're not hooked up yet. That's going to have to be another video or just something I work on in my own time. Uh, I need to get big power strips and AV and HDMI switchers and get all this really done where it can be used and played with but uh yeah that makes everything a lot neater to have them all together like that yeah i know and then coming around here the closet is finally being used as a closet look at that <laughs> even the top i'm using for the fold-up clothes ah uh, no there's uh, there's a few other little storage things in there though I have a glut of jello molds, but I do have enough room to to finally put the fold up clothes in there. So that is finally going to conclude this video that has been a long time in the making. But before I go, I want to give a few quick little special thank yous to some people that actually gave me some of the stuff that you're seeing here. Like uh, these three Wii games right here, they are Nintendo properties which are not cheap, in perfect condition with the manuals. Uh, it's uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. 
They were given to me by a subscriber named Skip Smith that came out to see me in person at the World Chicken Festival over in London, Kentucky a couple of months ago. And just brought them with him, with him and just gave them to me. And so they also brought me a toy for Dashiell, which I haven't shown in a video yet. I need to do that. But thank you so much, Skip Smith, for that wonderful gift. And they have a home right here now in the studio on this brand new shelf. Also, some of you might remember that a couple of years ago, Roy and Marie from Indiana, a couple of my longtime subscribers, uh, came out and just gave me two big boxes of really nice retro video game stuff that they were just cleaning out. I think they were redoing uh, some rooms in there or moving or something like that. Uh, but this was some really, really good stuff, and a lot of it has found a home here. First off, they gave me the Sega Genesis Model 2. They gave me the uh, the original Sega Genesis and the Model 3, but this one serves its purpose pretty well because it still has the uh, Sega CD port on the side and the a a better AV cable that doesn't rely on the RF, which is a little fuzzy sometimes. Uh, so that is really nice. Uh, also, they gave me this um, retro... 77 which is a atari machine that can be hooked up by hdmi so i will be able to play nice crisp atari games on a flat screen with this and it has ports where you can hook up the original controllers if you want to so um, that's going to be right there they also gave me a lot of the atari cartridges that you see here including mountain king which is a very well i don't want to say very but it's it's a pretty rare Atari game for the for its time it actually had um, extra memory that had to be added to it and in order to uh, To put the entire game on there. So also some of these Sega Genesis cartridges came from them including the fantastic Ghost and Goblins this one came from Roy and Marie uh, So yeah, I think that's there's a lot more still in the boxes that I don't have enough room to put all of it out here, but uh, they also gave me a six switch Atari uh, console, which is something I, I didn't already have. So thank you once again, Roy Marie, from the bottom of my heart. You guys really went above and beyond. I don't deserve all the stuff that you guys gave me, but I am so very thankful. Uh, also, this uh, controller, this Wii U controller, was sent to me by uh, Danielle Fries. Uh, a good friend of the channel as well. She just sent it to me in the mail, completely free of charge. She was, knew I, I had a Wii U. I found a controller that turned out to be not working, and she was like, okay, well, she then she actually found this one at a garage sale or something. No, no, it was a going out of business sale at a thrift store. Snatched it up and sent it to me, and uh, that gave me a complete Wii U. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you to all of you out there that, that send me stuff like this. I absolutely love it. And I think that is going to be where we end this one out, guys. Thank you all so very much. Make sure to give me the thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on all notifications by hitting the bell, going over and selecting all. I will talk to you down in the comments. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Yeah, that's a collectible plushie that I had up there in the plushy hammock and he has decided it is his toy he's got a thing for plushies